Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a problem which is based on the method of elimination of local attraction in traversing. Now let us see the problem. The following are the bearings taken on a closed compass traverse. Compute the interior angles and correct then for the observational errors. Assuming that the observed bearings of the line CD to be correct. Adjust the bearing of remaining lines. Now, here they have given us they have given us this particular uh, in this particular problem they have given us given us a closed traverse in which they have shown clearly the line uh, the four bearing and the back bearing of the line A B B C C D D E N E A. The four bearing and the back bearing of each line has been given. According to that, the figure has already been drawn. So now the main point is you should be able to draw the figure by checking the bearings of the particular lines. Now, uh, in order to compute the interior angles, we require a certain formula in which we add the, um, the bearing of the previous line to the, uh, the, uh, the bearing of the previous line we have a formula in which the included angle is given by the bearing of the previous line subtract by the bearing of the next line now let us see let us continue with the problem now here first we have to calculate all the interior angles and we have to find out whether there is an error in the interior angle and we are going to find out the error later we are going to divide the error with uh, the number of uh, included angles and we are going to correct it as accordingly first let us find out the uh, uh, the interior angles included angle a included angle a is given by the bearing of c the included angle a is given by the bearing of AE which is the bearing of the previous line minus the bearing of the line AB see bearing of AE this line minus the bearing of AB will give us the included angle here the A now the included angle B according to that we have calculated this uh, the angle A 130 degree 15 minute minus 80 degree 10 minutes is given by uh, is equals to 50 degree and 5 minutes now included angle a included angle b sorry b is again given by where is b b is given by the bearing of the line b a minus the bearing of the line b c will give us the included angle b bearing of the line b a 259 degree minus bearing of the line b c that is 120 degree and 20 minutes given 38 degree 40 minutes same thing what is the included angle c value of included angle c will be given by the bearing of cb minus bearing of cd bearing of cb minus bearing of cd which is equals to 131 degree 10, uh, 0 minutes then included angle D. Where is included angle D? Included angle D will be this interior angle. Now the, here the bearing of the line DC minus the bearing of the line DE will give us the included angle this. But let us see. Bearing of the line DC. Bearing of the line DC is 350 degree 15 minutes minus bearing of the line DE is 230 degree 10 minutes which is equals to 120 degree 40 minutes so the included angle D is equals to 140 120 degree 40 minutes then last angle angle E where is angle E angle E is here angle E will be the bearing of the line ED minus bearing of the line EA bearing of the line ED minus bearing of the line EA. Bearing of the line ED is 49 degree 30 minute minus bearing of the line EA is 30 degree 310 degree 21 20 minutes. 
this will come up to be a negative value so you just add up 360 degree then you you will find the included angle e now the next step is the next step is sum of the included angles is angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d and angle e it comes up to be 300 and 539 degree 35 minutes however by the formula we will check it twice n minus 4 sum of the in, into uh, into 90 degrees should give us the value of the sum of the interior angles which is equals to 540 degree however 300 539 degree 35 minutes is lesser than 540 degree so the error is calculated as shown here for 540 minus 539 degree 35 de uh, minutes which is given which is equals to 0 degree 25 uh, 25 minutes so this should be the correction the total correction shall be divided or distributed equally to the five included angles now we will do that particular step correction for each included angle will be 0 degree 25 minutes divided by 5 which is equals to 5 minutes so now we have to since the error is lesser I mean the value of this actual sum of the included angles is lesser than 540 degree which is nothing but twice n twice n minus 4 to 90 this is equals to 540 however this value is greater than our actual 539 degree 5 minutes what was the value 539 degree 35 minutes so this is lesser so we have to add up this 5 degree to all the included angle which we have found out so now I have done that particular thing here now correction for bearing of the lines let's come we have found out the corrected value of all the included angles by adding up the error or the correction value now we have to come to the correction of the bearings of all the lines now what to how to do it assuming it is already given in the question that C the line CD has a correct bearing assuming the bearing of the line CD to be correct the bearings of all other lines are found proceeding uh, proceeding around the traverse in anti-clockwise direction now let us see the figure here a b c d and e now in the question it's already given that line c d has a correct bearing so 170 degree 50 minutes is correct so assuming this line to the value of the bearing of this line to be correct we will follow in the we will go around the traverse in anti-clockwise manner now let us see how to do it bearing of cb is given by bearing of cb bearing of cb is given by bearing of cd plus the included angle here okay this is your angle c now let's do it like that bearing of cd plus angle c bearing of cd is 170 degree 50 minutes plus angle c we have already calculated here 131 degree 5 minutes so 131 degree 5 minutes so it gives 301 degree now what we have calculated is CB the value of the bearing of CB we have calculated which is nothing but coming all around here till this this comes up to be 301 degree 55 minutes now how to find out the value of BC the value of BC uh, we don't know BC is correct or not still so we will find out what is the value of the angle uh, bearing of BC which is with BC the value of BC will be given by the bearing of CB plus or minus 180 degree so now 
the bearing of BC is given by bearing of CB minus 180 degree which is nothing but 301 degree 55 minutes minus 180 degree which is equals to 121 degree 55 minutes now we have found out the value of BC which is earlier in the question it has given it was given to be 120 degree 20 minutes but the corrected value comes up to be 121 degree 55 minutes so the next step for finding out the, to find out is the value of BA what is the value what is the bearing of BA for finding out BA we have to just add up the bearing of BC and the interior angle B like this BA is given by bearing of BC plus angle B bearing of BC we have already found out and bearing of uh, the angle B also we have already calculated earlier so adding up we get up get the value of BA now finding out the value of AB what is the value of AB bearing of AB will be given by bearing of BA plus or minus 180 degree so bearing of AB is bearing of BA minus 180 degree it gives 260 degree 40 minutes minus 180 degree which is give which gives 80 degree 40 minutes now in the question the bearing was 80 degree 10 minutes but the new corrected value comes up to be 80 degree 40 minutes now we have to find out this a e or e a we have to find out okay now a e a e will be bearing of, what is a e a e will be bearing of a b plus b angle a so a e will be given by bearing of a b plus angle a which is equals to this likewise we will find out again EA bearing of EA plus 180 degree is given by is equals to 130 degree 50 minutes plus 180 degree which is 310 degree 50 minutes now we got EA we got EA now in order to find out E in order to find out ED we have to just add EA plus this ED bearing of EA plus angle E which is 310 plus 99 degree which will come up greater than 360 degrees so we minus 360 degrees so we get 50 degree 5 minutes now we got ED but what is DE in the question it was this but we have to check whether this is right or wrong so EA plus or minus 180 degree will give us 230 degree or something so here it is bearing of DE is bearing of ED plus 180 degree which is 50 degree 55 minutes plus 180 degree give us 230 degree 5 minutes now we got DE next step is we have to find out what is the bearing of DC in order to find out bearing of DC we have to just add up the bearing of DE and the included angle D the step is here bearing of DC is equals to bearing of DE that is 230 degree 5 minutes plus angle D which is equals to 350 degree 5 minutes now bearing of CD will be plus bearing of uh, C the bearing of CD will be bearing of DC plus or minus 180 degree will give us the bearing of CD it is calculated as below now it comes up to be 170 degree 15 minutes which is equals to 
170 degree 15 minutes which is already given in the question that CD is correct value. Thank you everyone. Let me come up with some other problem next time.